Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are, another Wednesday, another shave. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, we've got a good one lined up for you today. Let's have a run through the stuff. Blush, we're going to be using Simpsons T3 in Fire Copper. Beautiful blush. It's got a 26 millimeter sovereign knot in it. Let's have a look and see if you can see that written on the back there. That's fire copper. Uh, I wish it was more like that all the way around, but it tends to fade and blend in. But it's nice, good brush. And we're gonna put that in the official John Shears 101 Super Soaker. Hey, you miss that if I don't show it to you. I know you do. Okay, um, <coughs> soap we're going to be using. Very, very interesting here. Was gifted to me from Daz McGuinness. Thank you, Daz. There it is. That's what it looks like in there, and it's wet the face. I'm on the wet the face website here. Wet the face, the perfect cup. That's it there. Um, I'll just come down here and very briefly read you this. <coughs> the perfect cup is our coffee base shaving soap. We use real brewed coffee which is what gives our soap its rich scent, texture, colour and caffeine. Our coffee comes from a local roaster here in Huntington, Long Island, New York, called South Down Coffee. Uh, we use a special formula that allows us to incorporate the South Down Coffee right into the soap. No other artisan creates coffee scented shaving soap this way. Uh, put my teeth in. Uh, the others use fragrance oils. We give you the real thing. It's got notes of rum, brandy brown, sugar, cocoa beans, dark roasted, bold scent, coffee beans uh, that are used at a Primera, Brazil, a dark roast notes, coffee malt and caramel. We, why do we add the grinds? Actually add the grinds in, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, the coffee grinds help in two ways, exfoliation, uh, we'll leave that one there, and caffeine because we use real coffee, you have the real caffeine, which is good for your skin, it helps reduce redness. I've never heard that, but hey, that's, it is what it is. Now I've put it in a white cereal bowl, a white breakfast bowl, so I could show you the colour of it and get straight in there. Can you see those grinds? There for exfoliation. Now, when we talk about exfoliation when we use a good stiff brush, don't we? But to me, that's on a microscopic level to get rid of any oils, any dead skin you might have floating about on a microscopic level and caught the, the, um, caught the hairs with the um, shaving soap. Uh, to me, it's not really to exfoliate the skin. I exfoliate in there twice a week and that's what I use. Boots, exfoliating facial scrub uh, with tea tree and witch hazel twice a week while I'm in the shower. I exfoliate using that. That's really all you need, but hey ho, it is what it is. That's what we're gonna be using. We'll lather it up in a minute, you'll see on camera. Razor, we're going to be using Executive Shavings, the Braveheart, or Braveheart, whatever you wanna call it. Let's go to the tablet. Here you go, and the tablet. Executive Shavings website, can you see that? Uh, I'm sorry the light's not great. The light is directly above here, so when I do that, as you can see, you just see a white screen. Executive Shavings Braveheart Razor Stainless Steel Handle. Now, we'll come down here. I won't read you too much about it. We'll just go, the length 85 millimeters, diameter 13 millimeters, blade gap 0.72 millimeters. The weight is 80 grams. With the head assembled onto the handle, the total weight is 100 grams. Heavy duty handle is 100% high grade 316 stainless steel. There you go. Why is it there? I don't know if you can if you can see it, but that's Executive Shavings website here. There it is. And we're going to be putting in that London Bridge. Uh, because it matched everything else in the thumbnail. You know, the cop and the fire handle, everything. I thought, you know, I like, I do like to get things to match up. Um, I know, there you go. Let's see. I'll get that straight in there. I don't know if it'll focus. If it does, you can pause and read what you want to see. 
on the back of the oh Procter and Gamble. It just says Procter and Gamble there. Uh, let's have a look. I think I've used these blades before. Uh, it was a nice, a very nice clean blade with no glue spots. Look at that. London Bridge, super stainless. Get that on there. Come on, John. I've got massive big fat fingers. Get that on there. And as they say on the website, the handle with the Laser X logo on the bottom. You can see it. We'll get that on there. This feels a really good, well balanced razor. Where did I get this razor from? Do you know, I think this was gifted to me by Mr. Wickham. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm reaching the rather enviable stage now, starting to forget who's given me what, which I suppose is a just testament to the kindness and the generosity of you guys out there in the wet shaving world. Um, after shave, couldn't find anything in my collection with coffee in, but I have got some of this. Azaro Pohon. Look at that. Is that, that not just scream 1970s to you? But in the dry down, it does go very well with the scent of that. And we're going to balm up with that sandalwood. So here we go. Let's crack on, see what we can do. Scent. I would put scent slap bang in the middle, five out of five. No. I get coffee, malt and brown sugar. That's it, as far as I'm concerned. Scent wise, that's all I get. It smells really, really nice. Uh, I don't really, don't really want to say anything negative about it, but I have to be honest and bear in mind, guys, I'm only talking for me. To me, it smells like instant coffee. That's all. all I can, so let's let's go. Let's get the. Uh, I'm sure it's a wonderful soap. So let's um, get the tips and we'll have a look and we'll see what we can do. That was a big sample that and I put more of this in than normal because I wanted to spread it around the bowl and show you all exactly what it looked like with the grinds and so on. Um, the salt kind of seems to have disappeared a little. Uh, but it is making a lather. Let's have a look. There's plenty in there, isn't there? So we'll wet the face. We'll crack on. We'll have a shave. And we'll see where we're at with this. Um, yeah, you very much get that malted scent coming through now. Mm, it's a pleasant scent, but uh, like I said to my nose, it reminds me of my mother. My mother absolutely loved her instant coffee. Well, I'm ashamed to say it, but Samantha does say, I mean, I, I haven't drank instant coffee for, oh, must be 20 years since I've had a cup of instant coffee. Here you go. Let's have a look at that. Blade gap of 0.72. Uh, yet yeah, the, uh, what was the last one I used? Executive shaving. The outlaw, that was 0.52. I thought it was 0.6, if not 0.52. So let's see where we go. Yeah, well straight away. I've used it before. But because I've used it right after that one, I can feel straight away it does. Yes, yeah, it is more aggressive, noticeably more aggressive. But these razors, from my memory, they are exceptionally well engineered. I mean, exceptionally. They are the best shave from razors with this blade gap that I've ever had. I've got other razors that have got these blade gaps and um, they're just not doing it. They're not cutting it, if you'll pardon the pun. But these two, these two do. 
So it just goes to highlight the value of taking your time, getting it right and producing a well-engineered razor, as is this and its little brother in there, the Outlaw. I, uh, I prefer the Outlaw, I'll be honest with you. And yet I prefer more aggressive razors. Why do I prefer the Outlaw? I just prefer the feel of it. I prefer the feel of the head. Uh, and I think as well too, I was absolutely blown away the first time I ever shaved with it. And I think that was because I had convinced myself it wasn't going to be a good shaver because of its mildness uh, and the difference between what I thought and what actually happened was absolutely huge. Uh, so I think that's kind of stuck in my mind. I do slickness, I think a slickness test. Get a bit of water, yeah. And you menu it, it's very, very slick. Those grinds, I'm not sure about those grinds. None of them, none of them are getting stuck in the blade or the blade gap. Um, it's a nice scented soap. It's, I've got a couple, or I've had a couple of wet the face soaps. And I would certainly buy their soaps if the right scent came along. I would have bought this if it was available and I hadn't had this sample. Now I've had this sample. I wouldn't buy it, but it's not that the sample has put me off. As far as shaving soap goes, it's excellent quality, you can see that for yourself. But the scent... It's just not a true pot of freshly brewed coffee for me. But that's only for me, you know. I don't know. I know Don's a great guy and he's got his channel and he's got his business and we need artisans and I'll support them all I can but I'm just saying for me personally mm, I would use it again I'm not sure if I'd buy it that's just me having so many other soaps and so on but if I had no soaps and I'd ran out and I wanted a coffee scented no, I don't, I don't, um, I don't think it's really, but it's very slick, I'm having to keep rinsing my hands off because it's so slick, but it's, uh, it's producing, it's producing a good lather, it's doing its job, it's providing all the, the slickness it needs. Yeah. So please let me know what your shaves of the day are. Oh and um, if you're not already a subscriber and you like this video, please subscribe. If you want to support the channel, and many people support this channel in many, many ways, but understand not everybody can send something and this, that and the other. But if you want to support the channel, then one of the best ways you can do it is click that subscribe button. And I know I have actually had people say to me, John, you shouldn't ask for subscribers. But YouTube send emails out to all these content creators. And There is an absolute shed load, and I mean billions and billions uh, of, of uh, little clicks or so on that prove beyond all shadow of a doubt that they call it the call to action. 
asking for subscribers actually works. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Lather mittens. Look at this, guys. Um, there's virtually nothing left in the ball. Nothing. But we've got this. Oh. That's okay. It's got a slight... A slight hue to it. Uh, be careful if you had a white t-shirt on. I have actually made that mistake. Um, I can't remember what it was. It was a sterling one as well. And we opened it and it was dark brown and I lathered up and so on. Got some lather on the t-shirt. Stain never left. I could never... So we had a t-shirt knocking around the house. I couldn't wear it anywhere ever again because it had big brown, big brown stains on it, you know. So, I don't know if this would do that, but I wouldn't risk it. There you go. And that is our shave. Yeah, so let me know what your shaves of the day are. Have you used this? I'd be interested. Be interested to hear from you if you have used it. Be interested to hear what you think of it and what you thought of the scent too. Good quality shaving soap. Uh, smells nice. Performs great. Uh, just as a cough for me. But then again, you see that's a sample. Uh, and I don't know, Daz took it out and he put it in there. So it's been it's been used, it's been messed about. And I put it in that bowl and it was in that bowl for however long, five, ten minutes before I came in here. So I don't know. All I'm saying is, for me... I got the malt and I got the brown sugar and it kind of just smelt like instant coffee. To me, I wouldn't call that. I, I, would, I wouldn't call it a coffee scented soap, but your mileage may vary. But look at this. We did okay, didn't we guys? Absolute BBS. I'm going in the shower later. I like to have a shower after a shave because the feel of that water down this baby smooth skin when you stand under the shower head oh it's absolutely fantastic and then you have a wash and you run you wash your face and your skin just feels wonderful when you get out of the shower after you've had a shave give it a try we did okay didn't we guys there we are and here we go azaro pohon you've got to say that in a french accent azaro pohon you're not thinking you don't know why you're saying it in a spanish accent Absolutely wonderful. Uh, I won't know till the playback if that went off my shoulder. No, it, it did. It went on there. Oh, it smells lovely. There's no sting. No nothing. That was a beautiful baby but smooth shave. Absolutely wonderful. Executive razors. Very, very, very well engineered. I'm really impressed. Here we go. Come on. Come on, let's go with that. Right, that'll do us. L'Oreal Men Expert Barber Club. You know, Johnny likes his bargains. Oh, that aftershave smells good. Johnny likes his bargains. I think it went in the shop and that had been reduced from £10 to something like £1.99. And I grabbed a couple. I gave, I gave, uh, I grabbed three and sent two away. Sent two out to people. Oh, but even still now, it's got a beautiful sandalwood scent to it. Oh, and it goes very well with that aftershave. Oh, I'm going to put some more of that aftershave on later when I get out of the shower. That is good stuff. That's, oh, man. Mm. Oh, I enjoyed this one, guys. Skin feels fantastic. So maybe the good face feel from the soap, eh? Skin feels fantastic. That aftershave and balm smell fantastic. We did okay, didn't we? Look after yourselves. Look after each other, and remember, in a cold, dark world, a cold, dark world, be a beacon of warmth and light. And I will see you on Saturday. Uh, and it's not going to be a Pepsi shave, is it? Right? Bye.